What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. So I got a bunch of stuff here on the table because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put these things to use but as a different purpose than what they're intended for. For example, I'm gonna find new uses for these items that I have right here, and maybe you might have known of these, or maybe you have not. Either way, you'll learn something new in this video. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that you are subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. Hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate those likes. Let's get started. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's say somebody gave you a hot cup of coffee. Now, this is a plastic cup. That's all there is. It's really hot, and I don't want to burn myself when I pick up this cup. So let's pretend that it's a really hot cup of coffee. So how can I pick it up without burning my hand? Well, it's quite simple. Get yourself a roll of tape. The type of tape does not matter. What matters is that you guys can actually put the cup inside the tape like so. And now you can hold on to the roll of tape without touching the actual cup, therefore you will not burn your hands. This is a very convenient life hack because you avoid getting burned by the hot coffee. So try it out guys, it could be a lifesaver. You definitely don't want to burn your hands. Alright guys, if you have an empty can of Pringles like I have here, then all you guys gotta do for this hack is very simple. Just make sure you eat all the chips. If you don't like Pringles, then you know, give them to somebody that does. Everybody usually likes these, they're pretty tasty. This flavor right here guys is called Sweet Tangy Barbecue. Ooh. I've never tried that, but by the time I actually wanted to try it, next had already ate them all. But, which is perfect though, because it helps us out for this hack. It's empty now. So thank you for that, next. And so basically, you just put that aside. And if you have some flowers, like I have here. Now these ain't real, guys. But the good thing about these is that they never need water. So it works out, right? And all you need to do is maybe for your mom that comes home one day and you want to surprise her. These are usually like a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. And then you could just get these at the dollar store. So once you just place the flowers in there, guys, you just set it right there. It's the creativity that counts. So you guys have fun with it. This next hack, I'm probably not the best suited to actually give you advice on it, but I'll do it anyway, guys. What I have right here is a pad which is used to clean the floors. It's a Swiffer pad. So for you ladies out there, these can actually come in handy as they are very absorbent for that time of the month. I'm not going to go into details, but these come in very, very handy if you don't have any of those pads available, try one of these ladies. It will definitely save the day. It doesn't hurt and it's actually quite cheap. So try it out. I uh, recommend it. But then again, I'm not best suited to talk about this. So um, yeah, just get one of these. Okay, we're gonna stay on that same subject, but this time we're gonna talk about tampons. Now, a lot of boys don't know what these are and you know, you girls out there do. So I've used this hack before and it is really helpful when you have a bloody nose because all you guys gotta do is take out one of these and it should look a little something like this, guys. It's just a big old cotton swab. Basically, you shove this in your nose when it's bleeding and it'll stop the bleeding and not only that, it will absorb some of that blood so there's no mess to clean up. This is very effective, so I highly recommend you guys try it out. And no, guys, it's not disgusting. Believe me, I'd rather use one of these than have blood all over the place. You definitely don't want to clean up blood. It's kind of disgusting. So, yep, these will be your best friend when it comes to a bloody nose. <laughs> All right, guys, so what you guys are seeing right here is a whole bunch of candies, and these are Mexican candies, to be exact. Uh, they're really good. They're just a little bit spicy. Also, what you guys see right here is a CD case. Now, these are all blanks, as you guys can see. As you guys know, nobody really uses CDs anymore, so this is a really cool hack that you can have at home and sit down and nobody will ever touch, because when's the last time you've seen somebody grab a CD? So... For this, all you gotta do is empty it out. So let's pop the top and we wanna safely remove all these CDs, probably slowly so that they don't get scratched. Once that's done, all you wanna do is stuff this with a whole bunch of candy. Whatever your favorite is, then just grab that. All right, cool guys. It looks like we fit every piece of candy in there. Now, this is one of my favorite candies, but it may not be one of your guys' favorite. Whatever your guys' favorite is, then make sure you fill it with that. And then you wanna just grab the bottom piece of the CD case and you wanna close it, like if the CDs were in there. 
And there it is, nice and safely tucked in there are your candies. Can't see there's any candies in there, man. No, you cannot. And the next time you're hungry or you want a little snack, then you just make sure nobody's coming and you flip it upside down, take off the lid and voila, look at that guys. All your snacks ready to be eaten. So for this hack, it's very simple to do and it requires what I have in my hand right here, which is what next? It's a pen. Also, what you have right here is a cup. Now it has no straw, right guys? So for this, all you need to do is take that magic pen and you just want to pop the top. And what you guys are going to do to this is remove everything from it, guys. So you just want to take everything off just like that and now voila look at that guys completely empty so now what we have created is a straw and that's what we can use it for as long as the pen comes apart just like down right there just grab it and then you have some drink good stuff guys and look at all these pencils and pens and markers and highlighters, man. Well, it doesn't really take much to get organized when it comes to having a lot of writing utensils. In fact, it's quite easy. All you guys need is a cup. And if you guys don't have one of these handy, which, you know, you guys can easily get these at the dollar store for a buck. But if you can't even afford one of these, then try the next best thing, which happens to be a plastic cup. So you guys can dig through the trash, wash it off, rinse it off, clean it. And once it's clean, all you guys gotta do is take your supplies and just put them in there like so. And that's it. Try it out. For this next hat, guys, we're gonna need a ball. Whoa, good throw next. Just like I have right here, a little tennis ball. And what we're gonna use this for is if you guys see down there is missing a door stopper. So what we're gonna use for that is this tennis ball. It's pretty simple to do guys. You guys can do this in a jiffy, but in order for this ball to stay, we're gonna put some tape on it. So I'll do that for you guys right now and then we'll put it on there. And we're just gonna do this so that the ball doesn't go anywhere guys. So now it's ready to go where it needs to go. Right there. Once that little guy is secure, he's ready for some action. Give him some action next. Oh no! Look at that. It stopped the hit, guys. That little guy did his job. Good job. <laughs> Remember when we used this for our uh, Dude Perfect videos? So this is a Frisbee, guys. And I've actually been playing with my dog with one of these. This was only a buck at Walmart and um, I think it's worth it. I think it's very helpful to have a frisbee at home. Not only to use it as a frisbee, but there's another use for this guys and that is you guys can use this as a plate. Let's say you don't really have a plate to put your food in or you need a tray to carry your food in. Well, try one of these. These are very durable, they're bendable, they're flexible so you guys can use them to carry your food. For example, I can have some pizza on there some burgers, fries, soup, pretty much anything that I want can go on there and I can carry this with me wherever I go. And let's say I'm at a party and they have Frisbees there. Well, I can use this to eat my food, see? So again, next time you have a Frisbee handy, just know that it's more than just a Frisbee. It can actually be a plate. Alright guys, what I have here is a bowl brush that cleans toilets, right? Now don't freak out, it's a brand new toilet brush. But for this, all we gotta do, take this hole apart, rip off this label, and then put some soap in there. And you guys know what we're gonna do that for? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's to clean your dishes. Now since it's brand new, it hasn't touched the toilet, it'll work perfectly to clean those dishes. All we gotta do is rip this apart, get rid of it, which is easy to do. And another thing guys, this is a dollar at the dollar store. It comes with both of these things, which is perfect. You just remove this and the little caddy right here, you just wanna fill with soap and water so that you always have soap and water ready to go to clean those dishes. For example, I wanna wash this rusty red cup that next brought me. So I grab this sucker, Dip it in here, and then just like that, guys, spotless. And that's it, guys, pretty simple to do. Like I said, you guys can get this at the dollar store. It only costs you a dollar. You guys could do this for your mom or for your dad. It's really cheap to do. I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy it. 
All right, guys, so the situation here is that you have a bunch of papers. You don't have any staplers. You don't have any paper clips. So how can you stack these up together without them separating? Try to gather them just like this. And to avoid from these papers splitting up, all you need is a pen. Well, not the pen, but actually the pen cap, which if you guys take a closer look, actually has a clip. So remove the pen and just temporarily clip this cap on one of the corners of this stack of papers. So just like this guys, see how simple that is? And if you guys need to flip the pages, just adjust it and look, how simple is that? Now, of course, this is just for emergencies or for whenever you need to keep a stack of papers together. I don't recommend that you guys use a cap as a permanent paper clip, but it does help when you guys need it. See how simple these were guys? We didn't really modify the items, we just found new uses for them. Now before I wrap up this video, I wanna thank Sinfado for helping me out with it. Also wanna let you guys know that I have more life hacks at my channel, youtube.com slash nextraker. Check those out and also while you're there, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys gave this video a like already. I'll see you pranksters in my next video.